Right, here we have the JXD DVR and it's got the output and input and the USB all the controls on the top and the small camera so an 8 gigabyte flash RAM inside and here's a port where you can put into a mini SD card so you can put a 16 gig or 32 gig in there but I think 8 gig will be alright for now and here's the kit you get with it get the charger and a European converter USB cable uh, I did try to use my PlayStation USB cable to work to uh, use it on the computer but it didn't work it only works with its own USB cable I'm not quite sure why it didn't work with the PlayStation 1 anyway, and this is the uh, video and audio cable as you can see it's got phono jacks and here it has one of these type of connectors that was useful and this was £46 on eBay okay. this is the Brosa 5x50 night vision scope it's got a very good lens and gives a very good picture actually uh, this is the uh, IR torch switch and this is the on switch and then you can increase the gain by twirling the knob that is going here and this is the video out which we'll be using on the JXT so if you're looking through this at night you get kind of blinded by the bright light but hopefully you won't get that when using the JXT because you can plug the JXT into it record what you're seeing and also you can see what you're seeing on the screen and uh, uh, very pleased with this, this gives a very good picture but you'll be able to see that later on on a video and here I have a Yukon contraption for digiscoping which I used an old generation 1 intensifier tube and my video camera and uh, but on this it, uh, the video camera gives a very poor recording so I'm using this in a different way as you will see soon enough I'll show you what happens as we go along right now here we have the presser and as you can see I plug the video out into it and I want to put the batteries in uh, and you can see I plugged it into the JXD now what I'm going to do here is make that loose and very simply just going to jam this. I put this so this is up a little bit on here. It's a bit of a lip. And basically, I'm just going to jam it in. There you go. Turn the JXT on. You can see it's starting up. Just jam it in like that. As you can see, and it's holding it rather like a gun. Leaves this hand free to uh, to be able to focus. And on here, I can go any which way. But this is the video. Uh, Got the TV in, and that one, and then I can turn the presser on. There you go. 
there see the pictures coming up and I can uh, literally focus the presser on uh, anything in the foreground or oh, man. You can see that's outside, and this is during the daytime. This is a digital night vision scope, so I can uh, push that again. See, it's got. As you can see, it's gone red, and that's actually recording now. As you can see, I can see outside. There's the clouds, there's a bird. And as you can see, just hold this like that, like a gun. This is hand free to focus. And then, just to touch this button again. So it's gone green. Let's stop recording. So let's turn that off. Loosen that up. Put it down there. Video and uh, three recordings, and that was the one we just made. Go to there, and there you have it. See, the clouds in the sky don't look brilliant, but that's because. Uh, this is actually the daytime, and uh, at night time, hopefully, uh, we'll get lots of stars and whatever's moving around up there. But I think it's quite a good quality recording, and for not a lot of money. So pause that, escape. Uh, no. Right. So this is the garden. And there this is looking up. Looking up into the sky. So if you can see see some stars. If you look, I'll put on the light shot. Hard to see actually. Outside it's dark. But if you look on here, you can see see the night sky I'm just moving it around that's something Everything. Let's take off night vision. Take off night shot rather. 
Those are the stars. Excellent.